China. 1,350 million people. That's a lot of people. Chinese people. Yet one man stands alone. One man is on a mission to wander this land, see the sights, and meet those people. And after 12 months learning their language, to be one of the first to do stand-up comedy in Chinese. This man's name is Des. Des Bishop is Breaking China. I'm moving in with a normal Beijing family. Mom, dad, the grandmother, and their one child. You know, I feel like we've walked into some nice sort of proper middle-class Beijing life here. From what I understand so far, Xiao Jinfu is a scientist of some description. They're very nice, trying to help me learn my Chinese from the get-go. So I'm their, like, adopted son who happens to be only four years younger than them. Like, they're only 41. Cheers. Welcome. Oh. Cheers. It's just great for learning Chinese. It's just everything I could have wanted, really, you know? Family, comfort, you know? Ni hao. Come on. Bye. <laughs> That's my little, my little niece. <laughs> my little Chinese niece. Before I came over, I took some classes in Dublin. Basic stuff like hello and how to count. And I'm glad I did. I really think they're paying off. No interest. <laughs> oh, I know how to say this. I mean, this is amazing. Like, I just got here, and it's like back in World War III. You know, you hear your whole life, you, you hear your whole life, it's like Chinese New Year, what is it? And it's like the 4th of July multiplied by 10. And it's only just getting going. Hey! Ai outside there is making my breakfast, as she does every morning. Ai's the grandmother. I mean, she's great, but, man, she is not happy unless I'm eaten. She comes to the door at seven, Chifan, Chifan. Eat, eat, <laughs> food, food. Henda. Huh? Henda. Da. Henda. Ah, ha, ha, yeah, yeah. See, see. For the first week or two, I was like trying to help and stuff, but now it's just like, she doesn't want any help. She just, she just likes cooking and she brings out my stuff and I try to bring the, plate in and wash it. She's like, no, no. And she says in Chinese, like, leave it, leave it. Her, everything with her is food. Me and her, my, myself and her, this relationship is completely based on food. It's rush hour, man. The rush hour in China is not like rush hour anywhere else in the world. When 20 million people try to get a one second subway, oh. it's pretty intense. Uh, I actually love cycling in Beijing. And there's no rules. Any direction you want to go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There are some stereotypes about Chinese people in the West. Chinese people can't drive. That's the stereotype. Chinese people can't drive. And then foreigners come to China and they say the same thing. Chinese people can't drive. Wrong. <laughs> We're the ones that can't drive because we need rules. <laughs> you just do what you want in China. And at the beginning, it frightens you. And then you learn to love it because they have like this feel it's like a flow like the matrix like when you get it then suddenly it's like oh i get it now <laughs> this must mean go in chinese go 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 no go i was a mego ho ireland ran what the gong so cg yang yuan c c c g yang yuan Wishing me 
，两个孩子，两个孩子，中国人，一个一个孩子，你两个孩子，为什么？犯错。我在问。Uh, made a mistake. Told him. No, she did. They want a girl. But I thought it was illegal to have a second child. They tried to hide me. See? Oh, they tried to hide you. Yeah. But uh, they work for the government factory. So they work in a government factory. Yeah. So um, and then they found out. They found out. So they have paid a fine for me. Oh, you paid a fine. Tell her. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, do so do so chan, do so chan, do so chan. Thirty, thirty-three years ago, I paid one thousand six hundred yuan. So it must be that's a lot of money. Were you worth it? <laughs> were you were you good value? <laughs> were you were you good value? We have. <laughs> this is uh, the Dongying St. Patrick's Day Parade. Created by us, no permits, obviously no banners, no music. <laughs> Two guys that just miss Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. I've asked everybody, nobody really knows about St. Patrick's Day here, so we decided to have our own St. Patrick's Day parade here in the middle of the street. Niha! <laughs> I'm from Ireland. 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 Ireland is England. N Ireland's not England. Uh, not England. It's next to England. Uh, so, for example, I'll tell you a joke now, right? I'll tell you a joke, and then you just laugh anyways. Okay? Okay. Ready? How do you get a fat woman into bed? Piece of cake. Not only do they not understand what he's saying, they don't understand what he's doing. <laughs> this is my teacher, for the Lao Shu. Well, I, 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 for the camera, I need to speak. I'm sorry. My, my teacher is angry that I'm speaking English, which is good. Anyway, as uh, Irish, I'm getting extra classes. To be honest, I'm not that happy with my classes in Renmin. They speak a lot of English. So, uh, I get private tutoring. She's a lot more enthusiastic than my classes in college, and I'm quite fond of her. But she drives me very hard. Sometimes I want to scream. Yeah, that's the toilet. That's actually Wei Sheng Jin. Wei Sheng Jin, which nobody uses, but you see, I put in the iron. Can you see that? Because they're learning English and I'm learning Chinese. The jacks. And then this uh, this fell down. This was up here for a while. But... Chong Hu, Chong Hu, window. My host family, my my parents, my Zhongguo Fumu, my Chinese parents. Did that the other night when I was frustrated after being in Renmin. Have you noticed that there's uh, the door as well? So we're going to Zhongshan anyway. <laughs> If I can't get married with that, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm not married by February, I don't know what I've done wrong. You know what's the matter? Just too many yarn them all. Huh? Too many yarn them all. Just this is yarn them, nigga. Huh? 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 But let me tell you something about China when you're filming things. Nothing is fun. 
<laughs> Especially when you draw attention to yourself. A marriage market is some serious business in China, okay? It's not for fucking Lao Wai to have a good time. It's for people to get married. And not just people, but Shengnu, leftover women. Women that are 28 and 29 and not married. And they're fucking miserable because every time they go home, their fucking parents will tell them, you fucking leftover piece of shit, why are you not getting married? So they don't have time for this shit. They need a fucking husband. They don't need a fucking cardboard cutout. <laughs> to be honest, we came here to have a bit of fun, but like Chinese people, they're not really into having fun. Like they're into like getting that to business. They want their kids married. That's the way it is. Yeah. You know, today I got a really lose confidence. Because many people come to me to ask about me. I just show them my ring. Oh. Actually, they're fucking, oh, oh, so oh. cool. <laughs> oh, people ask about you? Yeah, you know. Oh, damn it. No, you yeah, got that... married too early. No, actually, <laughs> no, actually that, that, that they just come to me and say, ah, you can just, like, divorce with a wife. And then, <laughs> they, they think really? I'm, they told you you're going to divorce? Yeah. yeah. 